Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Sam and you are watching N and Sam in Thailand. So in today's video, I am going to talk about Thai marriage visa. So this video is going to be helpful for those who are married to Thai lady or for those who are planning to kind of get married to a Thai lady in future. So I will talk about how you can get a marriage visa which comes under like nono category in Thailand. And I will also talk about how you can get a one year extension on your nono visa. So without any delay, let's get started with today's video. Now the first thing to know is that you can get this visa if you are legally married to a Thai lady. If you are not legally married to a Thai lady, like let's say you are village married, you 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 kind of married in a village but you never registered your marriage, then you cannot get this visa. But the thing is that if you have a child with Thai lady, then you can get like no no visa for family. So you can get a no no visa which is same to like marriage visa on your child's um, birth certificate so you can get the same kind of visa now talking about this visa so this visa lets you stay in thailand for a period of 90 days and you can kind of extend it to one year more when you are in thailand and then if you want to extend it even more you can extend it every year every year every year so in this way you can live in live in thailand without leaving the country of thailand so now talking about the documents that you need to get this visa in your country so the first thing you are going to need is like passport or travel document with a validity of not less than six months. So you are going to need a photograph taken within the last six months. Uh, there can be like different requirements from different embassies. So another thing is like financial evidence, so bank statements or proof of earnings. So the thing is that every embassy is going to have dif different requirements about like how much money you should have in your bank if you are going to apply for like this visa nono visa so it kind of depends from embassies to embassies so the thing is that you can check your embassy website uh, thai embassy website in your country if you have to kind of get this visa in your own country another thing is going to be like marriage certificate all the copy of the marriage certificate which is attested by the government agencies and also the id card of the thai spouse so in some cases they can ask for like the, uh, like house book as well like copy of house book of of the wife as well so it kind of depends from embassies to embassies i will be honest over here and the best way is to kind of contact the embassy or check the vfs website of thai embassy in your own country so these are the documents that are required if somebody is married to a thai lady and if somebody is going to get this no no visa on the basis of a thai child or a adopted thai child then they are going to need so they are going to need a birth certificate or the certificate of adoption they are going to need a copy of id card of the thai child as well and they will also need like details of accommodation in thailand it can be like house book copy of their girlfriend or it can be like um, like like documents regarding house or condo lease or like rental agreements like that and they are going to need travel booking confirmation as well which includes flight bookings like flight ticket bookings so these are the documents an applicant is going to need if he or she is going to apply for like nono visa in their own country but if they are going to apply for nono visa while they are in thailand maybe on like tourist visa or on like visa exemption so they are going to need so the first thing is going to like passport and like copy of thai marriage certificate and it's going to be like copy of thai thai wife's id card and copy of thai wife's tabian ban which is like house house book like house registration book and also like a map of the residence of the house so the sixth point is going to be like copy of the photos showing you and your wife together so this is like also an important thing and i also when i got this visa i also had to kind of submit the photos of like uh, <laughs> of us standing outside the house and also like inside the sitting inside the house as well so yeah and we had to uh, like submit the color photos so so this is also an important point if you are going to change uh, visa from tourist or visa exemption in thailand you will kind of need to show these photos as well so another thing to know is that if you are going to change your visa uh, or your visa exemption you should at least have 15 days uh, of allowed stay before you can go and apply for a visa conversion so another thing is that you should have at least 400,000 baht in your bank account in your thai bank account in thailand so 
this money should be in your bank for at least three months before you kind of apply for the visa or visa extension or if you cannot have like 400,000 in your bank account then you will have to uh, provide a copy of your income certificate which shows that you make at least 400 uh, at least 40,000 baht in a month so this letter you can get from your em embassy so if you are from US you can get this certificate of income from your uh, US embassy in Bangkok so one important thing that you should know about bank document is that if you are going for visa conversion or you are going for visa extension on let's say uh, 1st of October so you should have like bank statement of uh, from the bank on 1st of October so you need same day documents so it should not be like you got a letter from bank on um, like uh, 28th, uh, 28th of September and you are going for visa conversion or visa extension on uh, 1st of October so it's not going to work you need like bank document from the same date so so yeah it, it, it can be hectic so you have to go bank in the morning you have to get a letter from the bank and then you have to take those document to the immigration for visa conversion or extension so yeah after you change your visa you are going to get a stay period of 90 days so after you change your visa from tourist visa or visa exemption to non-o visa you are going to uh, get non-o visa which will let you live in thailand for a period of 90 days you can extend that 90 days to one year uh, it can be extended to one year more so it will be like kind of same process and you will have to pay like fees of like uh, 1900 baht for extension the fees for visa conversion is going to be 2000 baht and it's just it's like 1900 baht if you are going to extend it for one year more so the fees is a minimal thing is that it's not very hard to kind of change the visa and get a visa extension but the thing is that it's very important to kind of contact the immigration first uh, let's say if somebody is going to get uh, convert or get an extension in Samut Prakan uh, which is like near Bangkok so they should kind of contact uh, Samut Prakan immigration directly and ask about the documents because every immigration office can have little bit different rules it can happen sometimes they can ask ask for more documents uh, uh, even though those documents would not be online um, would not be available on the online information but they can ask it so the trick is to just contact them uh, contact them directly if they don't pick up phone maybe give them a visit and try to kind of contact them directly now another thing is that if you have like nono visa be it like retirement marriage or any other nono visa long term visa you are going to have to file a 90 day report in Thailand and this can be done in person at the Thai immigration office which is way too easier to do it doesn't take a lot of time as well or you can do by mail you can send your documents photocopies of your passport at the immigration office a mail address and they will send you back um, like confirmation of your 90 day report or you can use an agent to kind of report 90 day stay for you so agents usually take 500 baht for this thing or you can just try to do it online yourself as well so the thing is that if you want to do online uh, you cannot do it uh, online if you just uh, got a visa or an extension for the first time so after first time you can do it online so for the first time you can do it yourself by going to the immigration or you can use an agent and after the first time you can do it online easily and the only thing you have to remember is that you have to use the same address that you gave at the immigration for the first time so if you use the same address online it's not going to be hard so another thing that you should know is that uh, if you live in Thailand on a nono visa before you leave a country you should get a re-entry permit so a single re-entry permit cost only 1000 baht and a multiple re-entry permit cost uh, 3800 baht but the thing is that if you don't take a re-entry permit and you leave the country and you are trying to come back it's going to be hard and I'm not sure if they will let you enter the country or not um, I have re I have read some comments from people who kind of mentioned that once they left country on their retirement visa they were not allowed to enter Thailand uh, they had problems while entering uh, entering Thailand back uh, so it happens when people don't take re-entry permit so if you get this visa marriage visa or retirement visa uh, you should get re-entry permit before leaving the country 
you can get this permit at the airport or you can get this permit at your local immigration office as well so it has been raining for the past few days and as you can see it's not evening right now it's only like uh, 16 in the evening and it already looks like evening because of the rain and and yeah these days the weather is kind of nice and it's not hot a lot so I can feel it like these days I don't feel hot a lot uh, when I sit outside even inside I don't feel hot a lot so these days are kind of good over here in Nissan so if you already have experience about Thai marriage visa or retirement visa do share your experience in the comments and if you have some questions or queries regarding like marriage visa you can ask me in the comments as well so i hope you found this video informative and if you found this video informative do give this video a like and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos i will see you in the next video till then peace